Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Gartenger, and I am playing some To the Moon. Oh, hey. Okay. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Aww, but we haven't done shit yet! Well, we haven't succeeded in doing anything. Let's go talk to Neil again. Neil! Neil, Neil, are you off the phone yet? Neil, Neil, Neil. Neil, 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 Neil. Okay, he's off the phone. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Right. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of advanced beta blockers. And while well, luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, the impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. <laughs> of course they did. So, what now? I was just given the con reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course. There's always one thing. Of course there is. Always. In order to activate the new frequencies, we need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory, and only to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. What do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. The platypus? And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Dot dot dot. You know, the job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. Who's Nora? This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. The platypus? I'm going with the platypus. It's gotta be the platypus. Holy dear. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgot my coffee. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so we've got the bunny. No to beta blocker. Rabbit to give to John. So he's given a bunch of beta blockers specifically to alter his memory or get rid of some memories. Holy crap! It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors! The roadkill, Ava, it smells! I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. Oh god, the roadkill for the, for the marriage memory! That last memory, the one we were stuck at! It was the same smell! Okay, what are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what the- No, obviously not! She's not a doctor or a scientist. I'm... What? <laughs> that means his smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. <laughs> Alright, this is good. This is awesome! Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the room kill. Yes, I'll ju- Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly, I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it helps any, I... I was like, I could go get it. I have a pair of gloves you can- I have a pair of gloves you can borrow! <laughs> nope, sh nobody wants to go get the roadkill. They aren't really disposable gloves, but it'll probably change after this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go grab some roadkill! And make it- and bring it up and- Shove it into a dying man's nose. We're horrible people. Okay, it's this way. This way. This way, honey. 
itchy eye. Oh, squirrels! Huh, deja vu. Yeah, like the dead squirrel we're gonna go pick up right now. Okay, let's go this way. Come on. I wish there's a run function. Function that would make things so much easier. Give me the road kill. Want the road kill? My road kill. Road kill. Road kill. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring it in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve. There's a valve container in the car. At least make the odor controllable. That's a good idea. Why do they have that in the car? Do I want to know why they have that in the car? I don't think I do. I don't like that noise. Where are you going? I. Uh, I gotta take a leak. You lying bastard. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Okay, what's that? Ah, there it is. Receive valve container. Why is there a bottle? Now I get some of that dirty roadkill. Why is there a bottle? What is it? This... What is it? Painkillers? Why are there painkillers in the car, especially if you didn't know they were there? Wait a minute, does Neil is Neil sick? Contain road contain uh contained roadkill odor. Nope. At least you didn't bring the entire corpse. Why would Neil have painkillers? Is I'm, I'm gonna go with he's sick. Especially because Ava didn't know about them, so it couldn't be hers. Hi, Neil! Oh, hey! Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil? Yeah, these painkillers. I think they're yours. Hey! May I ask why you're on them? Yeah, about that. I wasn't going to tell you, but... Oh, this is embarrassing. What did you do? A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into... He's lying through his teeth. What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. It was a match made in heaven, I say. He is lying through his teeth! Don't believe him, Ava! You got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry, John's dying back there. So are you, I'm going with. Neil? You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrivedness. Okay, so he's either addicted to painkillers... Or he's got something seriously wrong with him. The plot thickens. Now let's go help it all bed out. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. Oh yeah, it's my turn! About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it matter to a dead man. Wow. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. He is dying! This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Okay, Doc. Luck's the last thing we need. No, you, you probably need luck. Now we go into his brain! Act 3. They shine their lights on the other lighthouses and at me. Okay. Dun dun! 
Dun dun. Okay, I'm not doing that on time. Let's go. Okay, so we have to do the memory thing again? Oh, that'll take us to the white area. Right. To think this little thing is causing us so much trouble. Oh, I just want to kick it into outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready. Release the odor! And hit myself in the ear. And everything goes to hell. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. Keep doing it! What's going on? Everything is exploding! Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. CPR! CPR! His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Okay, Dr. Mumbo Jumbo. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory. Now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, this shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Uh -huh. You gotta be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this date, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you're freaking. Don't pull that contrived crap on me! This ain't a movie, you're no hero, so you're just being a moron! Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that, if you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair! Do you know how badly he sm- Hey, Alistair doesn't smell! Worse than the roadkill! Damn it, Neil. This is- This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank God. Doctor. Is everything okay now? Bro? I think we're okay for now. Yay! Everything didn't go to hell. Everything's still fucked up. <coughs> and guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Oh, they're just yelling at each other. Wait a minute. Yeah, in the last Christmas party, you- They're just yelling at each other. Oh. Come on, let's go before this happens again. Um, you know I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> Ava's so mean to him, but I love it. Okay. Okay, they're still fuck all different. So what do? What do? Um, is there a path somewhere now? Mommy? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, there's kind of, kind of a path? Maybe? Nope, no path. I know that have paths. Okay, maybe we need to go to the junctury place? That's way young. Oh god, I lost the soccer ball! Okay, there it is. Oh no, I lost the soccer ball! Here goes nothing. They've reset it in hopes to get across the dark chasm. Are we across the dark chasm? Oh, there's a soccer ball over there. We are across the dark chasm. Good. Oh, it's a proper memory now. I hope. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? No? Porn? There's something strange in there. Did you see it? 
I wasn't paying attention. Was I supposed to see something? I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. What did I... What am I missing? Um, okay. Hi, Mommy. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them... You've got to take them there one day. Okay. I am underneath the car! Hi, Johnny. It's a lot of Johnnies. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's something to interact with. Sheesh. The time overlap's getting out of hand. Look at how many of them are here. It's like a zoo! Mm-hmm. So let's go talk to this one. Hello, mister. Hello, mister boy. <laughs> looks like the ball's moving around on its own, and he's just chasing it. That's... That's disconcerting. Like, really disconcerting. Dun dun. Oh! Roadkill! I found roadkill. All thanks to this little fellow's sacrifice. I hope. Okay. Ava's starting to act weird, too. Everybody's acting weird. I didn't do it. Oh. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I better get going. The store is closed early today. Oh, take care, Martha. She's gonna get hit by a car. I say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Boys? Why is that plural? Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying... Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could be such a thing is... Oh, no. Shit! Duh! We need to go back. Now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Oh, no. Something's gone wrong. Oh no, is she gonna run someone over? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So he got hit by a car. My mom's actually done that. Except it wasn't a kid, it was our family cat. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Er, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Oh my god! His mother ran over his brother! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Uh, I would need a lot of beta blockers to get over that, yeah. Joey. He had a twin brother, even though they were young. To lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. Yeah, because she killed her son! At least Johnny had the beta blockers to erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. 
somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. So that could have altered and messed up the linking of the memory of getting to the moon. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. You don't say getting him an animorphs book for his wedding, calling him Joey. At least I don't really think she called Johnny or Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? He has he starts getting issues too. I don't like it here, let's move on. Uh, uh, seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it! <laughs> That's so sad! That's so sad! Dude, you totally should give the series a try. Is it Animorphs? I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome! I've already plowed through three books straight! What's it called? Animorphs. Yep, it's Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals and fighting mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get turned into tigers and mall big bad aliens. They're all rawr, 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 rawr. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew 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 Stop that. Mm-hmm. Yaw, and now he's dead. Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. And I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will, like, and every kid will get my book for free. And I'll make us rich, and buy both of you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids? The parents will have to pay, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on! I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's just... It's just not... Ju it's not just about that day! There we go. You know Ma's always favored you. Hey, that's not true! Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And last time we went fishing? And... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just give me another one, right? <laughs> Joey's a jerk. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oh god. Oh god. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> oh god. Wait, in, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, he's dead. Oh god, he's dead. Is it the train? Not if memory lane status. Bullshit. Oh. Okay, now it goes. I just didn't want to go on the first click. Oh god. Oh god. I should have probably saved it, because I'm getting close to the end of the ep- Well, I'm past the end of the episode, but oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So I'm kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Okay, just blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it! Okay. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. My name is Miss Gotanager, and I am playing some 2 I'll see you all in the next episode.